my channel or hello if you're new. Today I'm doing another clothing hacks video. Recently I did a fall clothing hacks which I'll link down below for you guys because those clothing hacks definitely can still apply to the winter time but I thought it would be fun to do a winter clothing hacks. So these are going to be clothing hacks all the way from how to deal with winter struggles because it gets quite cold. I cannot talk today. <laughs> it gets quite cold where I'm from and as well as I'm going to also share with you guys some hacks on how to stay warm but also look cute during the winter time so I'll leave all my other clothing hacks down below for you guys you can check out my whole fashion playlist if you're interested and thumbs it up if you like it leave any other hack videos you guys want me to do and also don't forget to follow me on my social media my Instagram Twitter and snapchat because I actually post a lot of mini life hack videos over on there as well so if you want to see those ones definitely check it out but that being said let's jump into it I'm going to go over some layering 101. Winter is super cold and it's sometimes hard to look cute and warm at the same time. So I got your back. I'm gonna go over my favorite hacks when it comes to layering during the winter and how to still look trendy but warm at the same time. My first hack is to make any knit sweater look a little bit more better and just look a little bit more interesting. Throw a flannel underneath your knit sweater. So as you guys can see, I just have this navy blue knit sweater that I got from Forever 21 and I threw a red and navy blue flannel underneath. I went with this one because it had little pops of navy blue on it as well so I thought it matched my sweater so well and this goes really good as well with any white knit sweaters. It just spices up any of your plain white knit sweaters that you may have. Another little hack I have for you guys is to layer your knit sweaters with some turtleneck tops. I love this one. The sparkly top that I got over on top is actually from H&M and this yellow mustard top is from Forever 21. I just love the pop of color underneath. If you take any plain knit sweater or any of your plain sweaters and just throw a pop of color underneath, it's really nice and as well as you want to keep the neck warm during winter time and I just think this is a really cute way to layer your clothes. And this next hack is to cover your buttons when it comes to your button up as well as keeping you so much more warmer. So if you want to make your outfit a little bit more interesting and you want to also keep super warm, all you have to do is put a button up shirt, then throw on a plain tank top. So I'm just taking this basic gray tank top from Forever 21. This is going to help cover the buttons and make it a really smooth silhouette. And then of course I just threw on top my sweater and this is a really great way to, to layer your clothes and you could just throw on a pair of jeans and some booties and I think this is a really chic outfit. And my last way on how to layer up but still look cute is have a t-shirt, throw on a cardigan, and then to spice it up, throw on a faux fur vest. I got this one, I believe, from wearall.com. I love faux fur when it comes to the winter. It can spice up any outfit, look a little bit more expensive, and make your outfit less basic. This next hack is super great for those winter boots. So of course during winter time, the snow and slush and everything just makes your boots super wet and gross and inside and make it wet. So in order to absorb all that moisture, actually put in some newspapers into your boots, let it sit overnight and it's gonna absorb a bunch of the moisture that you got outside from the slush and the snow and everything like that. I love to use this a lot during winter time. It's just super easy to throw in some newspaper while your boots are just sitting out. This next hack is super good for leather booties, especially during the winter time. To avoid any stains, especially with the salt on the ground, all you have to do is wipe them at the end of the day with a little bit of water mixed with some vinegar. And this helps with salt and not staining your shoes and keeping them in perfect condition through the winter time because there's always slush and then salt all over the ground and that can really ruin your leather shoes. So definitely wipe your shoes down by the end of each day with this little concoction. This next hack is going to be a little DIY boot cuffs. So this is going to get the illusion that you have leg warmers on. All you have to do is take any of your old knit sweaters that you don't use anymore. This one in particular is just, it's just super old. I'm not into it anymore and it's kind of the uh, jewels on the shoulders are definitely starting to come off. So I decided to cut off the sleeves. You can make full leg warmers if you want as well, but I just decided to make little boot cuffs. So I cut the ends of the arms and then as you guys can see, I just put it with some knee-high boots and it looks like you have knee-high socks on but it's not the whole thing which like I said if you guys want the whole thing or you want it to be longer so you can give yourself more warmth or something like that then cut off like a whole sleeve of a knit sweater 
This next hack is amazing for itchy sweaters that you may have. In order to make your sweaters a little bit more softer, all you have to do is take some water and make sure it's cold water. You're gonna put a few tablespoons of vinegar, white vinegar in it. Put your itchy sweater into it, the little mixture. Let it sit for 15 minutes. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to put some hair conditioning in and you're gonna let it sit for another half an hour and just really mix some conditioner in with your sweater. After about half an hour to an hour, you will it will be much softer. Of course, you're gonna wash it, make sure it's dry and all that stuff, and you will notice the next time that you wear it, it's gonna be so much softer. So this is just amazing for those sweaters that are really irritating and they're just super itchy and not comfortable. And then this last hack is to revive your matte suede that you may have, so whether it's shoes or clothes. As you guys can see, I just have a jacket. And you're gonna take a toothbrush and just brush it out. Of course, make sure it's not your toothbrush you actually use and it's a new toothbrush, but it's just going to basically make your suede look so much better. It's gonna get rid of any marks that you may have on your suede fashion pieces, whether it's your shoes or your jackets, and it's just gonna keep them in mint condition. But those are all the hacks. Make sure you guys check out my fall one and all my other clothing hacks. And that being said, I'll catch you guys in my next one. That is all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button down below to join the Nicolette's fam jam so your girl uploads every other day here on my channel. And as well as I hope you guys are having an amazing day, evening, or night whenever you're watching this. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye!